So just because I'm not, I reviewed one West Side Story yesterday, that does not mean I'm not going to keep reviewing the MCU movies, because I still am. So, on July 1st, I reviewed Iron Man. Today, I'm going to review The Incredible Hulk. A lot of people didn't like this movie, and I got to agree on one of them. I remember watching the first Iron Man movie when I was like a little kid, and I was like, Oh, this might be a whole universe. And I remember watching The Incredible Hulk right after. Oh, no. This might not be a good universe. And, uh, I mean, it did turn out to not be real, because I really love some of these movies. But this movie just really didn't make it for me. I don't know. The CGI is, I think it's awful. It's just like another generic big, that big villain. Uh, it's like the, um, Continent Variety Hour, what, um, he said about this movie. The, what do you say, um, generic big bad F Bridges. That, I think that's what he said about it. It was really funny. Anyway. I feel like I know I would, but I really never understood why Edward Norton was recast with Mark Ruffalo because I think Edward Norton's a better actor. But I mean, now I now I can understand like okay, he wasn't the best Hulk, and I think Mark Ruffalo really was like the better Hulk. Even though I do love Edward Norton, and my mom does really. She loves, 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 loves him. One of her favorite actors. But, I mean, he's not that great in this movie. He's fine as the Hulk, but I don't know. And then the villain is just a generic, big, bad Jeff Bridges. But, uh, but I mean, at least it's Tim Roth. I mean, we all love Tim Roth. I mean, I guess there is some setup with his character becoming in. And so, I mean, it's not, like, awful, but I think it could have been better. Uh, this movie's really disappointing. Godfather Part 3 was the most disappointing, but this is probably, like, up there. I mean, I don't, I don't hate this as much as I do with Godfather Part 3, but... I mean, I'm just gonna, hmm, I would give it a C, but, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to, alright, I'm gonna give The Incredible Hulk a C. Also, I just want to talk about Betty Ross, played by Liv Tyler. Why, why have we not seen her anymore? Like, this movie, like, nothing about it has ever been carried on to the rest of the MCU. Except for Edward Norton. Well, no, Edward Norton didn't come back. Just the Hulk came back. He didn't even get other secrets. Alright, anyway, I gave it a C. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this review. And until next time, ECU out.